In this lesson, we'll learn how to name amides. Remember, an amide is an organic compound or functional group where you have an amine chemically bonded to a carbonyl, which was once a carboxylic acid. And before we begin answering this question, we can see that in this molecule right here. The question reads, give the IUPAC name for the following amide. So amides are formed when you have a nitrogen-containing compound coming together with a carboxylic acid. You can see remnants of the carboxylic acid right here. In fact, this would be called butanoic acid if this part of the molecule was replaced with OH. So remember that the longest chain here is B-U-T for but, the prefix. Now, because it's an amide, we will be replacing, because normally it would be called butanoic acid, we'll be replacing the O-I-C with A-M-I-D-E amide for this part. So we have butanamide. The next step is to name the substituent on the nitrogen atom using the prefix N. The substituent is this alkyl group, specifically ethyl. So we'll say N-ethyl-butanamide. That's the IUPAC name for this molecule. In the next question, draw the condensed structural formula for, this time, NN dimethyl benzanamide. So because we have these two ends here, that specifies two substituents on the nitrogen atom. And the two substituents are the two methyl groups. Benzanamide is a benzene ring that can be shown like this. It's bonded to a carbonyl, where you have this carbon double bonded to oxygen. And because we're dealing with amides here, we know that there will be a bond between this carbon and the nitrogen. That single bonded to CH3, another CH3. That accounts for the dimethyl and that last hydrogen. That right there is the condensed structural formula for this chemical compound. And that is a quick crash course on naming amides.